In many ways, I'm a bit of an old man. I, of course, like to rock a sweater vest. I like to read a real newspaper that I can hold. I like to go to bed before nine o'clock if I can. And I often cringe at kids and young folks making too much noise in my neighborhood. I also strongly believe in face-to-face -face therapy, or at least I used to. Hey, I'm Dr. McCleary, licensed clinical psychologist and Navy veteran, and I make mental health videos for veterans and their families. The pandemic has changed a lot of what we do. And in this video, I'm going to talk about doing therapy with this on. Now, prior to the pandemic, I was very familiar with doing telehealth, doing therapy via video conferencing. This is something that the VA had a long time ago, and it's great for access to care for veterans that live far distances from a VA or honestly just don't want to sit in traffic for hours. I've been at some hospitals in LA, San Francisco, and now DC, and you don't want to sit in that traffic. What I was not familiar with or trained in is conducting a therapy session where I can't see the veteran's face and they can't see mine. I'll admit at first doing therapy with a mask on was just very awkward. But what I also began to notice very quickly is that I was still able to see someone's emotions past their mask. Let's be honest, a lot of us wear masks without wearing masks. A lot of us shield what's really going on with us on a day-to-day -day basis. So what I was able to recognize pretty quickly is even though someone had a paper or cloth mask on, even though I had a mask on and sometimes even a face shield, we were still able to look into each other's eyes and they were able to see somebody that cared and that was trying to understand. And I was able to see somebody who despite the mask that they had on and the mask that they often wear on a daily basis was able to see somebody that was struggling. Veterans, and I'm calling out my veteran folks, often were taught to wear a lot of masks. And one more, it's not gonna get in the way. For me, there's something different about actually sitting in front of somebody, actually being in a room with someone, actually interacting intimately in an intimate space. Now, I'm not saying that telehealth services via video or via the phone don't have their place. They absolutely have their place. And they have been shown in multiple studies to be just as effective as face to face. But for my veterans struggling with PTSD, what I don't want my veterans to do, what I don't want my patients to do is avoid those emotions, those thoughts. I know that it's uncomfortable coming to see me. I know that it's uncomfortable talking about those things, those thoughts, those emotions that I know 
that you do not want to talk about. And when you're in person, it is harder to avoid those things. It's harder to block me out. It's harder to block out those difficult feelings, those difficult thoughts, because I'm going to ask you about them. This is not a video about whether to wear a mask or not to wear a mask. What this video is about is my own personal journey with wearing a mask, conducting psychotherapy sessions. And what I found is that the mask that we wear did not make the barrier that I actually thought it would. So if you're a veteran and you're not seeking out mental health services because you don't want to wear a mask, what I'm encouraging you to do is not let one of these masks be your barrier to getting treatment and to getting better. Something to think about. If this video was helpful for you, and I hope that it was, please like it, subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more about mental health. But more important than that, if this video was helpful for you, that means it can probably be helpful for another veteran or another friend or family member of a veteran. So I ask that you share it with them. Because at the end of the day, that's really what all of this is about. One veteran trying to help another.